number six. At 25 degrees Celsius, what is the fraction of collisions with energy equal to or greater than an activation energy of 100 kilojoules per mole? So in this problem, we are asked of the fraction of collision, which, is, which has a formula of F, which is equal to exponential logarithm raised to the negative Ea over Rt. Okay, so we have the value of Ea, the activation energy, and we have the R, which is the universal gas constant, and we have the value of T. Now, all we have to do is just plug in those values. E raised to the negative. Ea, we have 1. Okay, since this is in kilojoules, we will convert that to joules by multiplying 1,000. So 100 kilojoules, that is 100,000 joules per mole. Joules per mole. And that is the activation energy. And we, this is divided by the universal constant, which is 8.314. Eight point three one four joules per mole Kelvin, and multiply by T. T is at twenty five degrees Celsius. So in Kelvin, that is two hundred ninety eight. Two hundred ninety eight point fifteen. Kelvin. So Kelvin, Kelvin, we could cancel that one. Joules per mole. Okay. Alright. And that is E. Okay, so using our calc our calculator, uh multiplying and dividing we divided, we can get negative 40.3480 Okay, using again, so our calculator F is equal to 3.0 times 10 to the negative 16 Okay, no unit okay, So the fraction of collision is 3.0 times 10 to the negative 16. Okay, so let's look at relationships here. If we have if we have this formula F is equal to E raised to the negative Ea over Rt. Now if we increase the temperature if we increase the temperature, then the fraction of collision will increase. So, the fraction of collision will increase. Therefore, if higher collision, so we will have an increase of reaction rate. That is an increase in... Or we have higher rate. Okay. Then, if because of this, we can say that F is directly proportional to T okay, to the temperature and inversely proportional. F is inversely proportional to Ea to the activation of energy. It means that if we have higher activation energy, okay, again, activation energy is the minimum energy 
for the reactant to surpass in order to form a new product. So it's like a barrier. So if the barrier is very high, then the fraction of collision will be will be lower. Therefore, if the fraction of collision will be lower because the energy of activation is very high, so uh, only few can meet the requirement. So only few fraction of collision will occur. Therefore, there will be lower rate. So that's it. So fraction of collision is directly proportional to the temperature and inversely proportional to our EA. So, okay. So we will know that in order for us to have a higher rate or a faster rate, then we should increase the temperature for us to get the higher fraction of collision. Therefore, we have higher rate of reaction but if the activation energy is very high then we will have a lower rate so in order for us to have a faster rate then we have to lower the standard or lower the activation energy